came all the way through. Okay, that was pretty definitive. The 762 zipped right through and the 556 fragmented inside and didn't make it through. Um, I sifted through the stuff at the bottom of the barrel afterwards and there's some 556 fragments in there. To be fair, that might not be the result every time, but it sure looks like it would be. It looks like there was a big margin of difference there and that's something we haven't seen in previous tests. We haven't seen a nice, clear difference between the two. So. At least if you're hiding behind something that's full of a lot of water, like a barrel, possibly a live tree, the old farts might be right. Now just for fun, we also shot it with my wife's 357 carbine, and that was kind of interesting. A 158 grain 357 mag expanded, walloped the back side of the barrel pretty well, put a pretty good dent in it, but it stopped inside the barrel while these 38 special plinking loads zipped right through. They took our jobs. Uh, uh, I want to be able to do this at home. That's kind of surprising. I didn't really expect that. <laughs> 